I am feeling uh, mild to moderately vi violent today. I don't know, there's just all these little things that, these little tiny things, these little tiny puzzle pieces that are, just aren't fitting together and that's, it's sometimes more frustrating than some of the bigger things. There's nothing like serious going on, it's just these little things and I'm just getting a little irritated. I'm a little disappointed because pain wise I thought I'd feel a little bit more together than I do right now. I mean, what, let's see, when did I get, I got the wisdom teeth pulled on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So it's been four days. Uh, well, I guess that's still, I don't know, just very hard on myself. And I'm like, I should be feeling better by now. I'm not in excruciating pain and Nothing, I mean, I don't... Get back in here. Get back in here. Stupid cat. Oh. I already missed a bunch of volunteer days, which weren't my regular days, because my regular days are Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday, I went ahead and got my teeth pulled, and I figured, okay, well, I'll be back Wednesday, and I figured, okay, that's almost a week, that's plenty of time to not feel like trash. I made the appointment to get my teeth pulled before I even knew what the October schedule was gonna be. So I didn't realize that there was like, excuse me. So I didn't know that there was gonna be this whole different type of program that was being added which was going to be Friday, Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday and I had no idea and if I knew that I might have changed it and I just kind of disappointed. It's not that I thought that I was going to be 100% like no soreness whatsoever not feeling anything. I guess I just expect it to progress faster but it, the swelling visibly it's pretty much gone like I, I can still feel the area where it's um the pain pain wise it's actually better and worse at the same time because before it was just basically my whole mouth my whole like lower face hurt now it's it's narrowed down to just the corners which is a good thing because obviously I'm not in as much pain but at the same time it's a bad thing because it's like the pain it seems like it's just more of a relentless soreness as it puts me in a rotten mood I'm trying to lay the heck off the Vicodin because I don't know what it is but every time I get prescribed I get prescribed Vicodin. There's some sort of drama around it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not allergic to Vicodin or anything, but my body just doesn't, uh, doesn't seem to metabolize it well. I did take it like every six hours the first two days, but after that I was kind of more focused on taking it in the, in e um, taking it in the morning and at night. Like the third day I only took it, I think I took like a half of a tablet in the morning because that's when it was like really sore and then maybe later on that night I think I took half a tablet. And but I did take a full pill last night. I woke up hours later that stuff was still in my system. It honestly as far as the the effect of somnolence it has on me, it's as bad as Seroquel. I mean, it's like except for just minus the drool. I didn't take any at all today and I was like so tired I was so effing tired and I'm like okay maybe I shouldn't have taken it at night it was just the pain started flaring up and I didn't want the pain to prevent me from going to sleep 
I still took a sleep aid because I have chronic insomnia and the Vicodin was only going to go so far for keeping me asleep, but it, eh, eh, I screwed up. Oh my gosh, it took hours before I stopped nodding off. When I finally stopped nodding off at like one o'clock in the afternoon, I felt high as a kite, like just up there and it felt like my eyeballs were floating. Some of you might have had that feeling before if you like had too much, way too much coffee. You feel this odd situation going on in the back of your eyeballs and it feels like your eyeballs are floating and then I was just like, oh my gosh, I, can, I cannot take any more Vicodin. I still feel like trash. I still feel bad. And I haven't taken, I haven't taken Vicodin in like 24 hours and I still feel like crap. <laughs> And it just pissed me off because it wasn't like I had major plans today, but I had some things I did want to do so I could pretend that I'm actually a productive member of society. And I had that all went by the wayside because of how messed up <laughs> I was. I mean, I was so messed up. I think that's it.